I've got a one car, very small garage, and I bought this uh, 73 inch jointer. And as a result of that, I had to give up something. So what I gave up was a kind of a long miter saw station, and I gave away my miter saw, my compound miter saw. All I used it for was usually really rough cuts, because it was inexpensive and was hard to keep it in alignment to get a nice 90 degree cut. So I had lost confidence in it and generally used my cross cut sled on my table saw anyway. But I said, you know, the convenience of a miter saw is really going to be missed, uh, even in my shop where I just do rough cuts. Because maybe I've got the dado stack on my table saw, so I'm not going to stop and change blades and so forth, put down my cross cut sled. So I need a way to get things down to approximate uh, length very, very easily. I saw a YouTube channel, I don't remember who it was, he was a professional uh, woodworker, carpenter, and he didn't have a miter saw. The way he did his rough cuts was using, ta -da! so because this is what I'm going to use and be able to grab it and use it right away, I actually put a little tool hook on the side of my sawhorse here and I just hang it right there and got a big battery on it so it's going to do a lot of cuts very quickly. So in order to do this first thing I recommend is that you build yourself some saw stallions. A saw stallion is a trestle style sawhorse with match fit dovetail grooves in the top as well as bench dogs or dog holes in the top and I also have uh, match fit dovetail grooves on all of the faces. So what I do if I want to do a quick cross cut or a rough cut and I'm going to do my refinements on the table saw then I just clamp it down using these match fit dovetail grooves in the uh, grooves that I got in the top of my saw stallions. I've got my uh, handy dandy jigsaw right here kind of an upgraded one for this purpose. I got the DeWalt uh, 20 volt XR I have a speed square hanging right there. I guess you're normally supposed to hold the speed squares here. And put that up, line it up where I want to get the cut, and uh, give her a go. Yeah, miter saw might have been easier and quicker, but I don't have room for a miter saw, so this will take care of me. And if I need to do something more aggressive or more dramatic, I can of course grab my uh, battery operated circular saw and do the same kind of a thing. So that is in lieu of my miter saw. Now I got room for my jointer. I know there's those of you who love your miter saw and use it constantly and love to have it plugged in and ready to go and you've built your dust collection system and you got your long stuff and you got your stop blocks and that's, that's good, I'm glad. I, uh, I, I wanted to get rid of mine and free up the space. Different strokes and different cuts for different folks.